Alrighty. <clears throat> I got most of my attic work done. Uh, the only thing left up there now is cut the pipes. Uh, these pipes here. Get these out. Uh, just cut them loose and then I can just pull them down the wall. Uh, but the manifold and everything right here, I'm going to build that in the kitchen. I got my hot, my cold, and then my shower. They're all hooked together. And then got the toilet run over here. And there's blocks in these walls, by the way. They con <laughs> they continue this block all the way around here. So it was a pain in the ass trying to get this thing down there. So I'm glad I had that cut out. And uh, whether y'all want to know or not, but that's what that water is right there. Uh, it's just uh, cruddy water. I mean. <clears throat> you can scrub that thing uh, clean and it's just run it ruins it these pipes it, that's that shit in these pipes it's not in the water coming out of the ground it's what's in the pipes themselves so that's why I'm changing all the pipes so we have a good shower we have good fresh water in the kitchen and all the bathrooms you know toilets, the sinks, and everything, and I still got to take and put two pipes in right here and get this sink ready, and I can't do that because she hasn't uh, cleaned the closet out so that I can get back there, you know, and that's not going to be too bad, and hopefully I can save that uh, faucet and everything right there, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <clears throat> but the issue is is this electrical box and whoever did this was a dumbass and uh, what they did well look you see the wires they run down behind that pipe right there they go behind the pipe they go over the manifold on that side go down and then come under the manifold into this box you can see them right there can you see them <clears throat> that's what you have right there all right that's a no-no uh that's a good way to get killed uh luckily i got them expensive breakers you know it's uh about 45 dollars a breaker from 46 45.99 or something like that when i put them all in when i wired the house the bathroom's got them the kitchen's got them all the wet areas have them. The island's got it too, you know. So it's, um, I got all that covered. <clears throat> and this thing kept tripping. The bathroom itself kept tripping, and I couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, why in the hell is this damn thing tripping, you know? And it never dawned on me that they did some shit like this right here. And if I had done this, well, this would have been on the right side. It would have been on this side and come down through the top of the box over here. But also there would have been some uh, a moisture barrier in between here and this box. It would have been like a piece of rubber or something hanging down over it so that moisture couldn't get into the box from over there. Ooh, I want to get shocked. <laughs> but anyhow, the objective now is to get this out right here and get them up through here. And I got this box right here and it's really nice. You see these tabs? Right here. All right. When you put it in, you go in like that. And then when you put it in the wall and you turn that screw, that turns up like so. And then you pull that way. And what it'll do is it'll mash it up against that sheetrock snug. And so, like so. I gotta get that pipe out of that way, out of the way right now, and I can't. And you can see I cut the hole a little big on this side, but that'd be okay. And the tabs are up here and down here, and that's what you want to do is you want to make sure that your tabs are going to be safe. And that means that that cover is going to fit right down on that edge right there, and that'll be fine. I mean, I can move the box up a little bit. I can take and trim it, come up, and come up an eighth. This little thing right here works great. It does works wonders <clears throat> better than my sawzall you don't get dust everywhere but I'll put that in there and then I'm gonna let over that and uh, the main thing is just get the wires up out of this area right here get them up here pull them over and bring them down here uh, 
would never have that. We could have died. I mean, they didn't have the setup like what I got it set up now. Uh, the water had been getting in there. I had been hanging my rag right here because there's nowhere to put a rag anywhere in here. And I had been hanging my rag out here, and that's what was tripping the damn breaker. The moisture was coming through here. All it is is a ring. All right, I'm gonna shut my way. But see, that's all it is. All right. Hey. So not, the old one is wore out. <laughs> this piece right here wore out. Right here. So the water would just naturally go straight in. And if it got on that wire and went down in that wire and got in that box, click, there goes the breaker. So there you have it. That's what I'm doing. And I'm almost there. I have to take and uh, cut all four pipes. This, this one, this one, and this one. To be able to get this manifold out. And then cut that one up there. I'm going to cut those three in the top. And that'll disconnect these. It'll be four, three over here and one over there. And I can just take it out. Be nothing to it. I'm bound to determine to get shocked. <laughs> there you have it. Nanny, nanny, shot spot and all that other good shit. And by the way, this, <laughs> it's a good thing I opened that up. It needs to air out. Uh, man, I wish I could put a vent all the way around through there. So that it would suck air through there because look there is no pan no rubber no pan no nothing so that's where a lot of that moisture has been coming from because this is like three inches down but it moisture will crawl up it will it'll crawl up i don't care what you do that shit will go up it, it, like right here it'll go up <laughs> so uh that would entail busting out all this concrete right here, I mean, uh, tile, and retiling it, putting a pan in, and putting a rubber in, and cutting that one thing out all the way around. I ain't doing that. All right, y'all. Uh, I might come up with some sort of ventilation system because I'm going to put a fan up there. See, it don't have a fan or anything in here either nothing to uh suck the moisture out when you take a shower steam bath anything like that it's there's nothing up there so uh i have to do something <laughs> i wonder if i can get that mortar right there look at that that's a big ass mortar joint goes to nothing <laughs> i could probably take saw that little thing right there and, and straighten that right there a little bit don't look so bad. I don't know. We'll see. But there you go. Man, then the shot button all that other good shit. Bye.